In this video, we will create a customer group and define its inventory posting defaults and also set up default credit limits. At least one customer group must be set up because when you create a new customer, a customer group must be specified. So we'll go to Sales Ledger. This might be labelled as Accounts Receivable in your version of Dynamics. Set up and Customer Groups. Now, customer groups are used to set up certain information that always defaults when entering a new customer. So we'll create a new customer group, enter a customer group code and a description. And a default terms of payment we will have cash. Now, customer groups can be used to set up automatic posting to general ledger accounts for any revenue generated by customers. We can specify this in setup and item posting. And here we choose the type of posting we want to set up. And for example, we'll choose this and create a new line. And here we can specify per item, which would be table, we choose the specific item, or we can specify per group or per category. And here we can specify for a specific customer, a group of customer or all customers. And here we would specify the ledger account to post to. We can set a credit limit and specify the maximum amount of credit to extend to customers, which is then checked automatically when a user attempts to update a document. If we go back to the sales ledger and set up and sales ledger parameters, which might be accounts receivable parameters in your version of Dynamics. And we'll go to credit rating. And if the credit limit is set to anything other than none, credit limits will be checked for all customers. Now a customer's remaining credit can be calculated in these ways. For example, balance plus all compares the credit limit against the customer balance and all open transaction activity, including packing slip amounts and sales order amounts. And we can choose the type of message you receive when the customer credit limit is exceeded. And if we do select none here, we can still specify a mandatory credit check on a per customer basis, going back to the sales ledger and all customers. We'll select a particular customer and go to credit and collections, edit, and we'll toggle the mandatory credit limit for this particular customer.